Oh, no, that absolutely hasn't even been, like you said, hasn't even been scratched. You can go on YouTube and spend months just, uh, you know, watching one video after another uh, and seeing all the old Memphis stuff. Uh, and like you said, we, you know, we went from the uh, CWA to the USWA to just all, you know, all kind of different Memphis promotions and then all the way up through Power Pro. And, and then when, when Power Pro, that was almost like, that was the, that was the concept, uh, the original concept of what NXT, uh, how that came about. I mean, the, the, that was the first time that the WWE uh, used another territory as a developmental territory. I mean, that was when, when, when they started, uh, when I started working with them up in WWE, then Vince decided, hey, you know what, I've, I've sort of, uh, my, my company has taken over and, and not, and not, not um, intentionally, but what happened was, you know, all this talent started migrating to the WWE and our and the territories, the, those those independent territories. They ran out of talent, so they kind of fell by the wayside. And um, you know, Memphis was one of the last territories left. So Vince uh, said, "Heck, if I don't if I don't uh, start, where am I going to get new talent from? Where am I going to find?" New, new wrestlers from in the future. So that's how that started with, with power pro wrestling. I mean, some of the guys the, like Kurt Angle had his very first uh, pro match down here. The rock, you know, had his uh, first pro matches down in, in Memphis. Uh, we started guys like the undertaker years ago, came through here. Uh, Stone, uh, stunning. And, you know, came through Memphis. Uh, Sting, the ultimate warrior. When they were a team called the blade runners, they were wrestling here in Memphis. Uh, it, just so many of the, so many of the future WWE superstars either started or came through Memphis or the, or the WWE sent them down here before they were ready to, you know, to get them developed a, a little bit.